in the last lecture we have discussed reflexive spaces today i will continue the topic today we are going to prove a theorem which states that a banach space is reflexive if and only if its dual space is reflexive let us prove this theorem let banach space x be reflexive then we know that x is isometrically isomorphic to its second dual space that is x double star and we have proved that if any two um, non-linear spaces are isometrically isomorphic and one of them is reflexive then other one is also reflexive and so x double star is reflexive we have to show that dual space of x that is x star is reflexive so it is required to show that x star and its second dual space that is x triple star are isometrically isomorphic and we know that pi tilde from x star to x triple star is a natural embedding which is defined by pi tilde f of pi x is equal to phi x of f for every f in x star and for every phi x in x double star so to show that x star is reflexive um, it is required to show that pi tilde is onto because it is a natural embedding so it is sufficient to show that pi tilde is onto so we consider an element of x triple star that theta belongs to x triple star then we have to show that there exists some uh, element in x star such that pi tilde image of that element is theta we define a mapping f from x to k such that f of x is equal to theta of phi x where phi x is equal to pi of x and this belongs to x double star since theta is a mapping from x double star to k so phi image uh, so theta image of phi x is an element of k so this mapping f is well defined we want to show that f is a bounded linear functional that is f is an element of x star such that pi tilde maps f to theta so first we show that f is linear so for any two scalars alpha beta and for any two elements x y in the banach space x f image of alpha x plus beta y is equal to by definition of mapping f theta phi alpha x plus beta y and this is equal to theta of alpha phi x plus beta phi y we have proved this result earlier and this is equal to theta alpha phi x plus theta beta of y and this is equal to um, since theta is a bounded linear functional on x star so this is equal to alpha times theta phi x plus beta times theta phi y and then by definition of f this can be written as alpha f of x plus beta f of y thus we have shown that f is linear now we show that f is bounded so for any x in, in, in the space x a mod of f of x is equal to by definition of f uh, this is mod of theta of phi x and since theta is a bounded linear functional on x uh, double star and so this is less than or equal to norm of theta into norm of phi x and since uh, phi x is equal to pi of x and we know that pi is an isometry so norm of pi of x is equal to norm of x and so this expression is equal to norm of theta into norm of x and so we have shown that f is bounded since f is a bounded linear functional that means f belongs to x star now we show that pi tilde image of f is equal to theta and now uh, by definition of f we know that theta of pi x is equal to um, f of x and um, by definition of mapping phi x this is equal to phi x of f 
and by definition of pi tilde mapping this is equal to pi tilde of f of phi x we mark it as one as pi mapping from x to x double star is on to so for each phi in x double star there exists a unique element x in x such that phi x is equal to phi and so from one um, we can have pi tilde f of um, phi is equal to theta of phi for every phi belongs to x double star in one um, we have replaced phi x by phi and so we have uh, pi tilde f of phi is equal to theta of phi for every phi in x double star and so these two mappings are equal that means pi tilde image of f is equal to theta thus pi tilde is on to hence x star is reflexive conversely we have to show that if dual space of a banach space is reflexive then space is also reflexive so conversely let x star be reflexive and we have to show that x is reflexive as we know that x star is a banach space so by first part of the theorem x double star is reflexive because in the first part we have proved that if a banach space is reflexive then its dual space is also reflexive and since here x star is a banach space and it is reflexive so its dual space that is x double star is also reflexive and we know that pi from x to x double star is an isometric isomorphism we have proved this result earlier so x and pi of x are isometrically isomorphic and as x is complete so pi of x is also complete being isometrically isomorphic and as pi of x is a complete subspace of x double star so pi of x is a closed subspace of x double star because we know that any complete subspace of a nonlinear space is closed so pi of x is a closed subspace of x double star and we have proved earlier that any closed subspace of a reflexive banach space is reflexive and so pi of x is reflexive because pi of x is a closed subspace of banach space x double star and so pi of x is reflexive being isometrically isomorphic to pi of x x itself is reflexive thank you